Now let's go to the magnetic field, OK? The magnetic field of the Earth, the magnetic field of the Earth is helpful for us too, not just the atmosphere. Because without the magnetic field, we couldn't navigate. We wouldn't know where north is. We wouldn't know where south is. And we wouldn't also be able to trap the, the dangerous rays coming from the sun. So you're going to see that's one of the things that the magnetic field does. It traps those dangerous rays. So magnetic field is a caused by the convection currents in the liquid core of the Earth. Okay? If a planet has no magnetic field, that is an indication that the interior of the planet is kind of dead. It doesn't have any action going on. You see? So it's a good thing that we have a magnetic field. It means there's convection currents. The, our planet is not dead. You see? The Earth's magnetic field is called the magnetosphere. The magnetic north pole of the Earth is close to its geometric south pole, and the magnetic south pole is close to its geometric north pole. The exact location changes each year. So it kind of looks like this. If you were to draw the Earth, remember the axis of the Earth is tilted by 23 and a half degrees from the vertical. Imagine as if the Earth is a huge giant magnet. There's a giant magnet in the inside. It kind of looks like this. The North, pole of the, the North Pole of the magnet is near our South Pole. You see? And the South Pole of the magnet is near our North Pole. The magnetic field lines come out of the North Pole, and they go into the South Pole. So draw the arrows like that, draw like that. So you can imagine as if there is a magnet stuck in the inside of the Earth. The difference of the two tilts of the axis, if this is the magnetic axis, and this is the Earth's axis, the, the angle between them is about roughly 11 degrees. OK, so the, uh, the Earth's axis and the magnetic axis. The magnetic axis is uh, reversed. OK, the North Pole is here, the South is there, and the Earth's axis is like that. Now, what's going to happen to the uh, magnetic axis every th several thousands of years, the magnetic axis is going to reverse. Then it's going to weaken, reverse, then reverse, then reverse, OK? So right now, the, the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. If it weakens, weakens, weakens too much, then it reverses. Okay? Then several, several hundred thousand years, it stays that way. Then it reverses. Then it goes like that, you see? So we have evidence of that reverse um, factor. Okay, so they kind of see that, 11 degrees. So you got the magnetic field here. So, and then what they're showing you is it kind of acts like uh, the magnet and the iron fillings. If you put the iron filling around it, you see, so the magnetic field come out this way, and they go in, you see, so they go outside from the sides too, you see. So they go like that, they go back in, like that. So if you this one way you can know where you're standing is if you were standing right there, and you had a compass, the compass would point up, out of the ground. If you're standing here, the compass would point into the ground. You see? If you're standing at the equator, pretty much at the equator, how is the compass going to point? Parallel to the ground. You see? If you're over here, it's going to point like that. If you go above the equator, how is the compass going to point? a little bit into the ground, you see? So that's called as dipping angle. If you go above the equator, compasses point into the ground. If you were at the equator, they're roughly horizontal to the ground. Southern hemisphere, the compass points up from the ground. So the dipping angle is positive, you see? So you see, they're, they're kind of up from the ground, parallel, and into. So that's one way to know what your latitude on the Earth is, you see. The magnetic axis is offset 
11 degrees from the geometric axis. That's what I was talking about, the 11 degrees. For some other planets, particularly Neptune, Uranus, the angle between the magnetic axis and the geometric axis is way, way bigger, well, like about 40 degrees or 50 degrees, okay? For the Earth, it just so happens that the magnetic axis and the Earth's axis, geometric axis, they're very close to each other, only 11 degrees. A compass always points in the direction of magnetic field lines, so a compass placed at the magnetic north pole, which is down here, that's what I was saying um, uh, a, little, uh, a few minutes ago. If you're at the magnetic north pole, it will point upward, and a compass placed at the magnetic south pole will point downward. In LA, compasses point a little downward. That's what I was saying a minute ago, because we're above the equator, so you're going to go a little bit down, because we are above the equator. But at the equator, they would point horizontal to the ground, okay? <coughs> so besides showing direction, how does the magnetic field help us? The magnetic field of the Earth allows us to navigate in the ocean and in the air. It also acts to protect us from the solar wind. What is the solar wind? It's these particles, very tiny particles that are coming from the sun. The sun is radiating these, okay? If the magnetic field wasn't there, these particles would disrupt our navigation systems. They would disrupt our satellites. So the magnetic field helps us in that, especially when there is a solar flare. A solar flare is like a giant, gigantic explosion from the sun, okay? And if there was no magnetic field, Again, you, a lot of satellites, a lot of communication satellites would be damaged, okay? So it all, it acts to protect us from the solar wind, which bombards us with charged particles. Let's see what these pictures are showing. You see? Cloud of solar particles are coming, and instead of hitting the Earth directly, they are getting trapped in these magnetic field lines, you see? And then what happens when the magnetic field gets near the south pole, the field lines get closer together and that allows the particles to escape. You see, they can't escape here, but they can travel, travel down the line and when they get narrower, then the field lines escape, the, the charged particles escape. When they escape, they release energy and that's known as a aurora, okay? So when, where can you see auroras from? Primarily from Canada and up, right? In the Northern Hemisphere. Or you can see them from the Southern Hemisphere, like if you're in Australia or Argentina. This is another picture of that. Solar wind coming. You can see the particle. What happens is the solar wind comes and a lot of it, or besides also getting trapped, they go down this path. You see particle flow. They go down this path, and instead of hitting the Earth, they're basically redirected, you see. So it's acting like a shield. And then these ones here are called the Van Allen belts. Van Allen belts, they trap the, uh, the charged particles. Sorry, let's see. The blue one is the rotational axis, and then the magnetic axis is the white one. You see, they're pretty close to each other, the blue one and the white one. And these are the magnetic field lines, and the whole thing is known magnetopause. So it's a pretty good picture, a lot of info there. When these particles get trapped in the Van Allen belts, but when they escape, they emit beautiful lights called the aurora borealis. And that's why you can only see them in the, near the north or the south. This is a nice picture. It's a picture of an aurora happening as imaged from outer space. See outer space. You see the America right here? That's Canada. This is uh, the Arctic Circle. So basically the aurora is like a circle. You see? It's happening from the, nor the northern side right here. We've also imaged auroras happening on Saturn, 
Jupiter. So they happen uh, for them also. This is what the aurora will look from the surface of the Earth. Okay. So the other one was from the outer space. This is from surface. Very nice picture. I could show you hundreds of them because auroras, there's lots of photographers go take pictures of auroras. Uh, it's very beautiful. I mean, they make a whole book of aurora uh, photos. Uh, so it would take too much time to show you a lot of them. But this, is, this one is a nice 